Scorpio, Kim and Chantress here to do a timeline reading for you for August 2021. Now, having said that, it may not play out in August. It may be at a later time, but we'll see as it unfolds. Now, what I was feeling with this reading here, Scorpio, it's telling me there's a man in your life who's feeling at home with something. He feels like he's established, settled and very private and intimate with you. Or maybe this is how we used to be feeling. Now, the person, Scorpio, took too much from you without giving back in return. And this brought about unhealthy emotions. Now you're feeling traumatized and that's not good. This person's traumatizing you or left you with anxiety. Now we have the man in your thoughts. We have the house in your past position. The mice in the underlying position, the moon in the near future, and the rider is the actual significator card. So I feel like this is a change of rules that's needed for you, Scorpio. This person comes back and forth into your life whenever they feel like it, and they're invading your privacy. This person's only using you. And you're feeling very pressured by them. Now they could be a Cancerian. I feel like um, this is about nightly activities that take place in private. And they're intrusive to your emotions. This person's very needy and very cocky, this person is. Now... This man, I feel, is harassing you, Scorpio, and you are acting on something you know is bad for you, just because of addictions, or for the sake of being wanted. Now, from the Romance Angel cards, we have Love Yourself First, and it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Now, if you desire a new romance in your life, you need to um, trust yourself. You need to be more assertive of who you choose in your life. And if you take care of yourself first, others will find you more attractive. Now, this card is very important on loving yourself first. It's helping you either heal or prepare for your next relationship. As you gain the self-respect, you'll begin attracting more loving people into your life. Now this will only lead to healthy friendships and romances that are based on mutual respect for one another. So we'll pop that there. Now... We also have um, from the Wisdom of Hidden Realms, we have the Lady of Lightning. This is about surprises, sometimes shock, or total paradigm shifts that are happening for you near Scorpio. So with the Lady of Lightning, she's your ally. And she's bringing a powerful force to change your life. She's letting you know to expect a sudden shift in your circumstances. It's probably a situation that you weren't anticipating that's going to arise for you. An opportunity of a lifetime. It could be um, just a flash that you see that's causing everything to change around you. Now maybe someone's entering your life and they're pushing you to new heights and maybe someone with the same interest perhaps. Well this is you having that new idea that's something totally different, something brilliant. But you need to be prepared. Change is imminent and a total paradigm shift may be upon you. Don't resist the change. As this kind of lightning isn't something that you want to fight. 
great things are happening when the Lady of Light in your peers. So that's beautiful. So you're going through a hard time with relationships and you're about to have a shift in your circumstances. Now, under the Lenormand deck, we have the snake, we have the sun and the lily. So this is your card here, Scorpio. And I feel like that you're craving happiness, Scorpio, and you want to be popular. And you do everything in your power to be popular. Now, this is you even using vain efforts to avoid anything that is sad or difficult for you. Maybe you've been a bit of a party animal of late and now you're trying to make things better and enjoyable for yourself. And I feel like now you've got the confidence here. Especially in your ambitions. And it's about only focusing on that. Focusing on what you love, that you're passionate about. And this is when you're going to get people with mutual respect coming back for you. Now you might get that strong craving for that intimacy or uh, maybe some addiction that you've got to food perhaps. It's only because you have a high sex drive here Scorpio and you love that energy of being seduced. Now you have a longing to be creative. This has been happening for a very long time you're very skilled in that area it's something artistic now you are being mature now and taking um, the right measures towards your future and you're looking at what makes you happy in the long run so that's beautiful beautiful message coming through for you here Scorpio now we have from the Archangel and Gemstone deck we have the Celestial Quartz it say are you ready to release blocks for yourself and Mother Earth do you realize that your own healing helps heal many people on a planetary level allow the celestial messengers to guide you to be true Earth steward and caregiver of the planet you are a messenger of light and well-being so that's beautiful as well now Archangel Sandalphon is here to give you a message and Archangel Sandalphon, Sandalphon aids with the healing of the earth and planetary group healing. Now in your quiet space say I allow angels to work through me to provide healing for myself, others and the planet. I am conduit for the divine. The planetary grids of light are activated with every sacred step I take. Angels light my path. Oh, that's, that's really beautiful for you. You're having a paradigm shift coming in. Angels are lighting your path. And, you know, with this person that's been giving you anxiety and using you in the past, you're actually um, healing this person as well by healing yourself. So that's a nice message for whoever it's meant to go to. Please like and subscribe if it uh, resonated. Hit the bell so you can get other um, notifications of my readings that come up. Not always a general reading, there is uh, music readings and also past life readings if you're interested. Check out your moon and rising sign if it didn't resonate guys. Please stay safe during this uh, pandemic we've got going on and God bless to all of you. Bye for now.